Hello， 大家好，我是 J a y and welcome to Trinity。Hello guys， I'm J a y and welcome to Trinity。So today， what I'm going to introduce you all is Life Twin 妹子卡。Okay， is okay。This already released for quite long。Okay， already sometimes already， but just recently I complete the deck。And seriously， this deck is really Nice. Okay, and it doesn't really requires a lot of brain power. Ah, 不需要绞尽脑汁去玩 Okay, okay. So there are just few combos that you need to remember and to understand, and the rest is completely situational. Okay. So basically, that we still have in and an incomplete, ah,、uh, light twin. Okay, we still lack a few support. Okay, and basically this is the sample structure decks that I'm using now. Okay, so let's dive into the decks, and I will explain in detail how to build the deck over here. So we can see that Evil Twin Kisikyo. Okay, 这个妹子呢 ，Okay， 早上早上就是 Life Twin， 就是这个。Okay， 晚上就是出来做贼，就是 Evil Twin。Okay， basically it's like that. So So we will need three each. Life Twin, Kissy Kill, and Lila. You will need three each. Okay, no more, no less. Three each. Okay, and then the Evil Twin, Kissy Kill, and Lila is totally depends. Okay, some people didn't play it, and some people yes. Okay, I still will play with it because that I need something with higher attack. Okay, so basically, this you will have four point four k attack and defense. Okay, due to the effect, while you have Kissy Kill in a monster, and you have a Lila monster in the graveyard, this card gain two point two. So basically, you will have a total four point four k Evil Twin Kissy Kill and Lila. Okay, so why I said I will play it because that this deck is lack of firepower. Attack 太少了 ，Okay, the attack is sincerely too low. So if you are assuming, Okay, 你想想看，就是 if you don't play this and you don't play any BLS at all, means that the maximum that you can get if you are not playing unicorns or phoenix because that this one totally is situational. The max attack you can get is one point one. If you have the GG easy, then maximum you get two point two K. That's all. Okay, if you are facing a monster that has higher attack, ah,、uh, maybe like Luna Light. Okay, this deck the weakness is Luna Light. So before I further explain, I will explain that why is that. Okay, so the maximum two point two, and the best you can get is one point one. If you are not playing with the Unicorn or the Phoenix or either this, the maximum you can get two point two, nothing more. So this is this deck. Yes, it is good. It is one card combo, but it lacks of firepower. So most probably you will be needing to wait for the sunny, okay, then to come. Then maybe this deck will be good. But any further support coming, not so sure because that during some time they are quite stingy on releasing cards. So not so sure whether there will be more supports coming in, but. With the current situation, I think that most probably tier two is a max. Tier two, tier three will be floating around these two tiers. Surely tier one, I think, is not possible. Tier two or tier three, and then that's it. Okay, it is good because that it is one card combo. But now we have effect valor on the spot, so high chance that we might not be going anything. Okay. We are not say because that effect valor you can negate opponent monster effect. So assume that if you summon Kissy Kill and you get effect valor hit, okay, and you don't have life twin home or anything, then basically you're done. That's all. So that is still a downside using life twin, but still it is a very good deck with a one card combo. So can consider to play this, but like I said, maximum tier two, tier two, tier three, tier one is. Unlikely. Okay, so this evil twin Leola and Kissy Kill is depends. So you are not necessarily you need it, but you can play it will be very good. Okay, so Envoy of the Beginning. 
Okay, soon getting limit 3. And this build is a post ban list build. Okay. So, and while at the beginning, you will only play 1. Okay, and this is good because it has, it has a 3k. It can banish and it can attack twice. So, this maybe is your finisher. Okay, like I said, Life Twin Kissy Kill. Life Twin Lila, these two maids, definitely need three. Must be three, no more, no less. Three is definitely need. Okay, and effect Lila, ah, two. I will play two. Okay, it's good because that nowadays all monster effect. So you have effect Lila, negate it. Perfect, nice. So Diddy Crow, yes, you will need in most of the deck. Okay, a lot of graveyard effect, and now Ten Yi is back to tier two, so maybe it will rise up, rise back up to tier one. Not so sure, but Diddy Crow is quite a good staple for the current meta. For 现在的情况呢，这只乌鸦是很重要的。所以我是觉得的，呃 ，Effect Well 的一张、两张 Diddy Crow 一张 ，H 是蛮足够。或者是是一二二一随便 ，OK， two one one two depends on the effect value or the DD crow is totally depends. And now we have a very high back row meta also, so I feel that um the destroy provided by life twin, yes, but it is not enough. So I still feel that MSD is important, OK. 后台太多了，现在，所以我是觉得的，啊、呃、，MSD 是很重要的，所、so, 以两张 ，Yes， Enemy Controller is a frequent use in this deck， so one is a， I think that is， uh， it's not a must， but I feel that yes， go for the Econ will be better because that you can， you can tribute your Lila， take over the monster， activate the Kissy Kill， resummon your Lila and destroy one back row again。So this is the combo over here. Okay, Life Twin Home is for you to summon your your Kissy Kill or Lila in case that you break. Okay, so Secret Password is for you to get a Life Twin or Evil Twin spell and traps. So basically, this is the present or the GG Easy. This two is the thing that you need to get. Okay, uh, maybe Evil Twin Lila or something. Life Twin, Evil Twin, Spell Trap from the deck. If you control Kissy Kill monster, you can add one monster from the deck to the hand instead. So if you have a monster, then you can get a Evil Twin cards. This one. If you don't have, then you can get the spell and traps. Okay. So Life Twin Channeler is good. You can negate the attack, tribute one, and negate an attack, and to recycle your Kissy Kill and Lila from the graveyard back to the deck. So to ensure that you will have enough resource always, okay. So Ice Dragon Prison, I more prefer it now because that you have a lots of cats around here, okay. 太多猫了，现在太多 ，okay. A lots of Luna Light now, and the only way for Luna Light to be kicked out is to banish non-targeted banish. Non-targeted destroy still is not a thing because Leo Dancer is not subjected to destroy. The cat, ah,、uh, the the fat cat, the ah、uh, saber dancer is not destroyable. So ice dragon will be the will pretty much be the answer for Luna right now. So activate, take one, vanish. That's all. Settle. So basically, I feel that ice dragon prison will be the best card now. Okay. Or maybe terror of the over. Can it be target one card your opponent control and okay. Send okay, so it's still target. So terror the overrule is no. This is a non-targeted effect. So ice dragon prison, ah,、uh, I think should be the answer. Okay, so ah,、uh, ballista squad is a very good thing for you to destroy. So you can activate, sacrifice your, sacrifice your lila, destroy any cards your opponent's cards, then activate your kissy kill, resummon back your lila, and destroy another cards. So basically, with this, you can destroy two cards instead. Okay, so present is for you to permanently snatch over your monster, or to fling a spell trap back to the deck. So you can play two with this, but this is a trap card, so you will need to set for a turn. So basically, I feel that MSD will be much more better. 
for the present and then this you can snatch over your opponent's monster which is a good thing because basically you need two monsters so you will only need one kisiku or one Dilla and one of the random monster and you can link summon your evil twin already okay so gg easy is a very good card because that this is ensure for you to recycle so you can target your card out at the attack so basically with this first effect you can make your monster your kissy kill or your lala to 2.2 1.1 plus 1.1 2.2 that's the reason why i said that the max if you are not using all this the maximum attack that you will get is 2.2k only okay no more no less okay and this can ensure that you will keep on recycling and then because that you can attack <clears throat> Okay, you attack with your Lila, activate it, sacrifice your Lila, okay, summon your Kissy Kill, up the attack, and then again destroy. But you will need to know that the effect only applicable in main phase. So if on battle it is not applicable, you will only use this unless the opponent doesn't have anything on the field then this will make you have okay if on normal circumstances you will you will normally hit with a 2.2k okay but with this you will able to hit 3.3k per turn 1.1 you activate this sacrifice and make your kissy kill 2.2 direct hit so you total hit with a 3.3k okay but this this combo only if your opponent doesn't have any cards on the field for you to destroy because uh kissy kill and Lila effect only can be used on the main phase during the main phase only okay so basically this is how the deck works and then unicorn phoenix is all subjected optional is de purely depend on situations so how to play this deck so the most easy way some if you got kissy kill summon kissy kill normal summon then with the effects you can summon your leola or leola to summon your kissy kill okay so the first thing you need to know if you are at first turn you need to draw okay so kissy kill is the key card for you to draw okay you can special summon this card if you control a leola monster you can draw one card okay and the leola if you special summon you control kissy kill monster you can target one card on the field destroy it so basically it's like that during a first turn if you want to draw <clears throat> so red blue red so kissy kill you summon your small monster link summon to kissy kill kissy kill activates resummon your leola okay and Lil and then you link summon to your Lila. Okay, and then when this special summon, okay, you can activate, you doesn't control, you can special summon one Kissy Kill from the graveyard. So activate and resummon your Kissy Kill. And then you will draw one. So basically is if you want to draw red, blue, red. If you want to destroy blue, red, blue. Okay always always remember this this is only on your first turn if on the second turn and maybe you already have the monster on the graveyard in your graveyard then if you wanted to draw then go for lila resummon your kissy kill if not go for kissy kill resummon your lila and pop that's it so it doesn't really requires a lot of brain power but still it is very easy to go around with all this okay so let's go into the deal and let's see how is the result let's go okay so let us dive into this and currently i'm at legend 2 and seriously after using this deck right i feel that it is good but still as i said previously it is lack of the firepower that's why most probably you will be starting at tier 2 tier 3 okay so let us see how many wins okay so practically now one two three one lose four five six seven okay it's like seven wins out of 10 rounds so basically it's the win rate most likely all the decks that has higher higher win rate than 50 percent to me is very good 
okay so we can see that now it has like 70 percent win rate so we have seven wins out uh in 10 rounds actually consider is a very good thing okay so basically this is the deck that i going in with okay so like i say ice dragon prison is basically it's a need for counter especially deck like luna light and then we will need a black luster soldier or a evil twin Leila, you can take it out you can put it in totally depends if you out then your only outs will be your envoy at the beginning if not you can still access to a higher attack 4.4k for the evil twin kisiko and Leila. okay so basically this is it so life twin is very easy to maneuver the whole deck it doesn't i said it doesn't really requires a lot of brain power easy simple direct as long you remember that you want to draw or you want to destroy if you wanted to draw then red blue red if you wanted to destroy blue red blue that's it settled easy as one two three okay it doesn't really require that summon this first summon that first and uh, then link then synchro then or whatever shit okay it doesn't it, you don't really need all that kind of craziness so this is just purely link that easy to maneuver on it okay so let us dive into some of the example and i will explain in detail that how you play with life twin okay so let's go hope you guys enjoy okay okay so let us dive into few of the battles over here so hope that i can explain in more details on how to maneuver this deck okay how do you play with life twin it's easy okay so now i with isuzu okay so current win streak 2 let's go duo okay so as you can see it's good as i got a life twin here so i just need one kind of bow and it will be so i'm facing with warrock so good so go in and i directly destroy the warrock mountain first Okay, summon the Kisikil. Kisikil will get the Leola. Leola, and then I go for the Leola. Okay, why I go for the Leola? As I rem as I said, right? If I wanted to destroy blue, okay, red, blue, easy. So I destroy. So it will summon the Meteor Dragon. Okay, so this is the thing. I cannot attack. Why? Because you can see that I only have a 1.1. That is the limitations for Life Twin now. Okay, as long as they able to summon a monster with 1.2k, then I'm I'm gone also. Because that I seriously don't have enough firepower. Okay, so now go on with the Body Star Squad. That's why I say that now Body Star Squad activates. I take out my Lila destroys it so with that it directly set out the mode no motor can resist actually here i have a very slight misplay because i should directly chain but the problem is even though yes it cannot be destroyed by cast effect so actually no point getting hit by one left with that okay so no cards so life twin home will be your only choice taking out the dd crow summon my kissy kill Okay, so I okay, so let's go and I go in for the draw. No, I'm going for destroy. So blue, red again. So I'm going for the draw. Okay, so basically the blue, red, blue, red, blue, red is for your turn one. So with this, I'm going straight for the draw. So this will be the case. Summon the blue, get the red, and I will draw one. So I go in for the red again, and I summoning that summoning back the blue, and I can destroy one cards. So I destroy nothing because i don't read okay some players like me i sometimes i forget to read and cannot be destroyed by our cast effect okay so that's it so now i'm going for with the secret password i will get one trap so i get in the present set two and turn activate the present sacrifice my lila okay if it take it that hole i survive so warrock mountain and let's go let's go with the combo set destroy no just go 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 let's go okay basically i think that this round i just win 
with the warlock instead of uh, life twin <laughs> if not mistaken so you can see that the channel is for me to keep on recycling my resource i keep on recycling back my things in and that's all that's the first win okay so let's move on to the next okay so let us watch on the second match i think that this will be me with luna lights maybe most probably when you see Celine, maybe that most probably will be Luna. Like so, Kissy Kill, Kissy Kill get Lila. So I'm drawing the red. I'm going for the red because I want to draw. So red, blue, red, draw. Okay, so I get the channel, putting down, and then Legend of Heroes. Legend of Heroes will be the best skill currently first i can recover for 2k a lot and then at the end i might able to access to the our access to who is it our max crusadia our max okay so channel recycle set two and third okay so first let's go for the emerald bird that's why i say that effect roller is very important it's a very good interruption Okay, hand traps is a very good hand traps now. Negates it and you go on with the yellow martel. Martin, let's go. A lot of darkness output. Collider cheeks, fusions, physical, summon down. Nope, too late. So he's straight off to the Leo Dancer over here. Basically, Leo Dancer cannot be targeted. Cannot be destroyed by opponent card effect. So the only thing for you to do is to non-targeted banish. That's it. If not, you have no outs at all. Okay, so let's go with the Ice Dragon Prison. I'm taking the Crimson Fox and then banish it. Okay, that's the reason why I said that it is very important to have Ice Dragon Prison now. So again, I go on with the Leola. Leola, I resummon the Raid. I draw one. So one, two, attack, attack, win. Nice right. Ice Dragon is important and Black Luster Soldier will be your fast end game. Your key cards to end game fast 3k. Okay, so let's go in. I think that this either is a Luna Light again or or it's a mirror match. I forget. I think this is a mirror match. Okay, he's using Selena. Okay. Win and again a rank over here. Good. So do okay. So they will start first. Okay. So yes, as I said. Okay. Good. That's the that's that's why I say that <laughs> effect value is very important. And they have have a one card combo over here. So Lila will resummon a kissy kill. So you just directly effect value it. Then no no special summon, and they will just enter. Okay, so Leola, Leola go for Kissy Kill. Okay, so I'm going to destroy. So I go for the blue, red, blue. So the DD Crow is the thing over here. So you can either effect Velo it or you just DD Crow it. Okay, because that during the first run, right, most probably they only got one Kissy Kill and one Leola in the graveyard. So in order for you to stop them, you can either negate it when they are to summon another monster. Or no, you will just DD Crow and banish whatever they need. So if they go for the blue, then you will need to banish the red. If they got the red, you will need to banish the blue. Okay, like it. It destroy, it banish my Kissy Kill. So that's it. I cannot continue my combo as well. So I just end up with the Leola. So summon, he go on with the Leola. So... As I said, <laughs> Ice Dragon Prison is very OP in the current meta. So let's go for the blue, blue. Take it, banish, banish. Okay, so it's still able to summon regardlessly. So you will need to remind yourself, right? E don't ever CED the small monster, okay? Because that when they summon Leola, they will immediately trigger the effect to resummon the key skill. Okay? So the key skill hasn't activated anything. If you were to 
see the the lila out the kcq come down beside doesn't have anything it will resummon the lila back onto the field so don't ever uh compulsory evacuation device don't ever ced the small monster okay because you will just waste the effort so the best is just if you have dd crow wait until they summon then you will just banish whatever they need if they come down the lila then you banish the kissy kill that's all if they come down the kissy kill then you banish the lila if not just effect valor it when they summon high chance they will just enter okay so this is basically the weakness for evil twin or they were just or either is that they just uh uh use up the resource then they will just surrender as well because that they are quite heavy reuse they will need highly dependence on all the resource either in the decks or in the extra deck so, so if they exhausted themselves then they are basically killing themselves kill, killing themselves as well so this is basically the pro and cons of using evil twin but still it has a very high destroy rate and it doesn't really requires a lot of brain power easy to maneuver so with the high win rate over here 70 percent actually this deck is worth to invest okay so i really hope that in future there will be more support of life twin coming in so it will become even stronger okay but with the stinginess of dealings i'm not so sure when will the support come but just hope lah, cross finger okay so basically hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial the guide for life twin and hope you guys enjoy if there is any ways to further improve this deck welcome to comment at the comment section below and i hope you really benefit from this tutorial and if anything give a like thumbs up it really supports the channel and then share out if you feel that this is a good guide for everyone to follow and then appreciate everyone and then remember to subscribe to my channel appreciate so i will see you guys in the next video and appreciate so enjoy the rest of the battle and hope you guys learn more from that so see you guys again sayonara bye bye Zai jian la. Do it.